check it out, it's time for another piece of fun in UX tips. In this video we're going to talk about radio buttons and checkboxes. You know, you would think these two tiny components are dead simple to use, but in fact they really can make or break your user's flow. Let's begin with a simple side-by-side -side introduction in Vadin Designer. A checkbox, as the name implies, is a box with a small checkmark inside. Next to this box, usually on its right side, is the label that communicates the meaning of the element. A radio button is visualized with a simple circle and a tiny circle inside to indicate the selected state. Again, the label on the right side describes what this option is all about. Checkboxes can be used in two different ways. First, there's the lone checkbox. You can think of it as a simple toggle. On, off, allow, disallow, enable, disable, opt in, opt out. And you really don't need those fancy iOS-like toggles to get the message across. Then there are multiple checkboxes, which form a mutually inclusive group of options. That is, the user is free to select none, one or multiple options from the set. Radio buttons are different. There are no lone radio buttons and the group is mutually exclusive. That is, there can be only one selected option at a time. In a way, you are required to make a choice. Remember these differences the next time you are building a form and choosing a component to use. So, that's the basic setup. And what exactly makes these simple elements a design challenge? Simple answer, they are only as good as the context you set up for them. Let's ignore the state visuals for a moment. What's left? The label. The key to designing usable checkboxes and radio buttons is to pay close attention to the label. First of all, the label is part of the component. Clicking it has the same effect as clicking the visual element next to it. If you are developing your custom checkboxes or radio buttons, remember this one. You can use this important detail to your advantage in the so-called checkbox hack, please google it. Even more important is what you write in the label. Users don't want to think. They want to do a drive-by clicking past your form and get over it. And that's what you should design for. A good label is simple, concise and written in the user's language. And try to avoid these common mistakes. Using negatives. Asking questions. And repeating yourself. But sometimes you need to ask questions, right? Or you want to address your users in a polite way. My rule of thumb is to keep the option label simple and set the stage with separate labels. Need to ask a question? Add a label above the options. Need to provide more context for each option? Add a label below each option. Just remember to keep the primary label short and sweet. And there you go. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got an idea or two for that form you will be working on next. Take care.